Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 23 of Haven Cave Lock, where we actually make it to the roof and get our solar neutron reactor this morning. You want to know how it's done? Let's dive into the episode. Okay, guys, we're going to hop into this episode. I set this up so I can do this and make my awakened supremium bow here. So if we just type bow, we should see the awakened supremium bow. And I could try to get some... Um, see here power let's see can we make the power one both no we can't uh we would need the enchantment table we'll give it whatever enchantment we can get from this some uh, lapis And two of the things from Botania, the pylons. Just need a couple of these pylons here. We'll set these pylons down, the enchantment table. This in here, we'll put this in here. We will give it whatever you give it here, power one. Really? Okay, so we got power one. That's all we need. You know, we don't really need that. Um, now we need some of these in eyes of ender and an end cake. Just one. We'll set down this end cake. Oh, we don't need to even do that okay so we're here now in the end it's loading up for us uh let okay there is no wireless in range so the only way back is to kill the dragon uh i thought we had a dimension card in the thing, so I'll have to look at that to see. Because I forgot to even grab the arrows that I wanted. So this serves no purpose here except to make... Uh, this a pain in the butt challenge. Right, here we go. Oop. All right, it's dropped down there. We're gonna have to chase this guy around a little bit. So I know, I know, you guys have seen the Ender fight countless times. Uh, where did it go? Uh, did you guys see that?
There, there she is. I don't understand what happened there. Yeah, we got it. We've got to kill the Ender Dragon at least once because we need some of the equipment from her. I did not bring bottles with me. It's coming to land. We're we're gonna need some of these eyes of Ender once we complete this. Her heart is not showing up properly. I don't know why. So we're going to have to wait a little bit till she lands again as we try to chase her down. Oh, I see what happened here. We pushed her down. All right, so we've got setting the end free. We did get the Enderman spawn egg. Oh, okay, that's not what we wanted, but okay, so that got sent somewhere. Right over there. Um, we do have torches in our inventory, so we do need this dragon egg here. That is one of the key important things we came in here for. So we got the dragon egg. Um, yeah, let's go back to the overworld. Let's look at our card. I thought I gave it a dimension card. It's going to take a few seconds because it's rolling the end credits now. Okay, everybody, uh, we're, we're back. Okay, everybody, we're back. Um, yeah, the, the game kept crashing on me. I'm not sure why. Uh, I, what I just did there was feed the end cake, uh, I, one thing. So we've got the dragon egg. So that's now taught to this system. Those dragon scales as well. Um, yeah, let, let me take a look here. This, this is one thing that was irritating me. Uh, dimension card, infinite range for RS wireless works across dimensions. So that should have worked. So I am going to get a regular wireless transmitter. Not the advanced one, just the regular one. Okay. Um, I'm going to set this wireless transmitter here. I want to put that guy in there. Okay, so double check. Okay, we've got range. For some odd reason, this stopped powering. Uh, let's, let's remove that, see if that, okay, um, our, our, 
our uh, uh, flux. Let's grab a flux point. Uh, this can go now because we're, we're going to use just this flux point now. Okay, we saw that it's putting 400 and some. Let's see here. 8,000 RF per tick. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, we weren't producing that up down there. So I think now we should be able to communicate with our thing across dimensions. Um, see here. Oh, yes. Now, we are going to get that one thing to work now. We're going to make what is called a compact sun. Okay, so we're going to teach this how to make the final stars, uh, which is just the fire, final uh, flowers wrapped around a dragon egg. That's why we needed the dragon egg. Um, so, sun. We can go... Should be able to make all of this, so we can just tell it to start making those things. So, uh, it's going to take a bit for this to make all of the stuff that we need. So... I will be right back once that gets done. All right, after about an hour of uh, processing to make those final stars, uh, we got the compact sun now. So let's see here. Uh, I want to set up making, I don't know, 10... 10 more of these final stars, just so we have them. I want to run this down here and see if this will uh, allow this to run. Say we place this here. Uh, No. So plutonium. Uh, let's let's see here. Polonium. Yeah, the only way to make polonium is in one of these solar neutron. Reactors. Uh, let's get the uh, pickaxe, the red matter pickaxe. See here. I'm not sure how we're going to do this solar reactor. Um, because like up here, we have bedrock. All the way up here, we have bedrock. And I went all the way up to the top here. 
We've got this tunnel here. Hmm. I'm dropping back down here, guys, just to see if this will start powering this. Like, there's nothing in the quest book about making this. It says the solar neutron activator uses sunlight to create various isotopes. Um, does not... It doesn't need energy, just direct sunlight, which can pass through transparent blocks like gases and that. Uh, does this have like a mining? Uh, no void, no mining dimension. Um, give me a moment, guys. I'm going to see if I can figure this out. Okay, guys. Um, I, I, I did it, boo boo. Um, I'll get over here and show you guys. I tried to clear this out with a dropper because I had an idea on how we're going to do that. And apparently, yeah, you you can't clear those out with a, a dropper. So I have to wait about seven hours before the nuclear thing wears off. So I'm going to hide back in this corner uh, idle for... For seven hours, I, I will do this so that we don't uh, get any additional time in a bottle while we're waiting for this to clear up because of my mistake. And uh, I'll be back. Okay, guys. Uh, about one day later, and the base has finally cleared up. I guess we can grab uh, the time in the bottle back out. Because I didn't, I didn't feel right building up the time that it would have taken me. All right, I'm going to try something that I read um, over in the Discord for this pack. Because we have this up here. Okay, this, this uh, bedrock roof. Somebody made mention that... Uh, Work allows you to do something stupid. So I, okay, I'm gonna set this here. I'm gonna set this here, okay. I'm gonna grab a uh, flint and steel. Cause you know, might as well use the uh, weirder way of uh, lighting that up. Okay. Um. Okay, so I'm going to set this up like this, see if this will actually do it here. So if you guys are having issues getting uh, anything solar re related working. Oh, look, phantoms. I've been wanting phantoms. 
Okay, so you have to have one block below it with the uh, stove. Okay, we, we've been wanting some phantom membranes, so now we have some. There is a very awesome sword wondering traders will bring that uh, require phantom membranes. So now we know how to now we know how to get this opened up. So let's uh drop some torches up here, you know, just because, you know, like why not? Um we if we need more uh of those, we can make more TNT to blow this up. So now we just gotta wait till daytime. So now we have actually a valid reason to go to our bed. So let me go to the bed and sleep. And so we can see if this will actually process it. I did clear it out because, well, you know, I told you I took that, uh, out of there with the dropper, which caused our radiation mishap. So here we go, sleeping in the bed for the first time in a while. We have uh, sunlight coming in through that roof right up there, so. Let's just activate this for a little bit. Oh my god. There we go. That's how you make Polarium. So next episode, now that we're, we're getting uh, Polarium done up here, and it's not automatically going in here, so let's uh, set it up like this uh, with a pressurized pipe, right? that right there. Oh, does this... Yeah, I have to get more pressurized pipes. Uh, because this only goes in on the top here, so now we're building this up, fill, filling this up with polarium. So, I am going to run this. I'm going to probably open up another sky hole right here, get another one of these solar neutron reactors running with more polarium uh, being made. But I mean, this guy seems to be able to handle this right now. I'm going to adjust these rates uh, until next time, guys. You guys, have an you guys have an awesome rest of your day. If you like this episode, go ahead, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, please hit the dislike, leave a comment down below. Tell me why you disliked it. If you got any comments or suggestions, leave them down below. And until next time, later Gators.